Hi, welcome to another Fault TV video. In today's video, we'll be talking about a 14-year-old Tanmay Bakshi, who is a software programmer at Google with a salary of 37 million naira per month. Yeah, you heard me right, 37 million naira per month. I well, like you must have a business card. Oh, well, yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you. You do? <laughs> At 13, you have your own business card. Okay, that's a nice start. I'll, I'll get in touch with you later. Sure. But what do you do? Oh, well, mainly, I like to call myself a software and cognitive developer uh, because I love developing with cognitive computing and artificial intelligence. Uh, I am an algorithmist. I love working with designing and implementing algorithms. I'm a keynote and TEDx speaker. I'm an author. I've written a book, and I'm working on another one about IBM Watson. Uh, and, of course, I'm also an IBM champion for cloud and honorary IBM cloud advisor. His father, Punit Bakshi, worked as a programmer as he typed his code, his son Tanmi would watch the process. Out of the mind. <laughs> well, I mean, I originally started coding when I was five uh, with simple languages like Fox Pro and Batch. Uh, but eventually, at nine years old, I had my very first iOS app accepted into the Apple App Store called T-Table. Well, my dad used to be, work as a computer programmer, but he used to work with, you know, uh, simple, regular programming languages like Fox Pro, Batch, uh, a little bit of C, etc. Uh, but you see, now I'm really interested in artificial intelligence and how it can actually be implemented on all these different platforms. His work later took a turn to YouTube at age 11. And while uploading a video to YouTube, he stumbled across a documentary on IBM Watson. And from there, he took an interest in it. Within weeks, he built his first Watson app called Stand me. To the application here, this is sort of the beta interface or GUI or visual interface uh, of Ask Tanme. Now I can ask this a question. For example, who is the lead developer of the out? Got it messed up. Who is the lead developer of the Apple Swift programming language? All right, so now as you can see, I've asked that a question. Now, essentially what I've done is I've used the uh, perfect library for Swift. Uh, and I have a, essentially, uh, REST API for Swift, ex uh, I mean REST API for Ask Tanme exposed on the internet. Uh, and so using that REST API, the iOS end can actually contact that and get JSON of the actual answers uh, and their comparative confidence. Uh, and so I am 43% confident that Chris Latner is the correct answer. Which is correct. All right. I'll ask it one more question, why not? Uh, and let's say, which CPU manufacturer is the most widely known? Now, quite obviously, this is Intel, but uh, let's see if it's able to get that. Again, this is going over to the REST API that I've exposed for Ask Tanme. Then it contacts the command line interface, uh, which gives it the answers. Uh, a lot of tweets happening right now. Uh, um, uh, and then right as that's done, uh, it will be able to give us most probably the correct answer, which is Intel. Now, again, this is an organization question because Intel is counted as an organization. Uh, I am 56% confident that Intel is the correct answer. Which it is. Let's switch over to my Mac now. So that's that about the promising young software developer. Thanks for watching, guys. And this has been Michael Odafi. And you have been watching Foul TV. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.